cheat sheets, amusing notebook covers, and how to remove a bad mark and not mix up your schedule, all these and lots of other practical things you can see in our video. Do you like drawing in the margins? Then you definitely need this creative notebook cover. Make stress relieving covers to put on your notebooks. Choose a cover you like and print it out. Glue it on your notebook. Keep in mind the back. You can shade the covers with your color pencils and feel your stress fade away. These amazing covers work as stress relievers and beat your boredom when you are in class. Oh no! I've taken the wrong notebook and my homework task is in another one. You won't mix up your writings with this clever life hack. Color the top of your notebook with bright markers or highlighters. Now make sure you don't mix up the colors. Have you got a bad mark? Let's try to remove it. Rub a candle against the paper around your bad mark. Thus, it won't be damaged while removing the mark. Attach a piece of masking tape. Trace the mark with a dull pencil. Press it well. Peel off the tape. If you don't manage to remove the mark at once, try it again. This time, trace only the mark left over. Perfect! Smooth the paper with the candle. Even if you get a bad mark again, just scratch it to remove the mark with a wax coat. But the most reliable way to escape a bad mark is to study hard, and it's far more rewarding. Do you attend extra classes and mix up your schedule? Make a DIY calendar. Draw eight columns on an A4 paper sheet. Make sure the first one is wider than the others. Make as many lines as how many classes you attend. Write down weekdays in the top line. Put your classes into the first column. Attach bright stickers to the intersections of the days and classes and forget about mixing up the stuff. Are you often caught cheating in class? Use these school hacks to make your cheat sheets unnoticeable. Eraser cheat sheet? It's an awesome trick. Cut out a part of your eraser. Cut out a smaller square. Attach your cheat sheet using double-sided tape. Stick the other end to the eraser and fold it accordion style. Put it in the cutout. Can you see your cheat sheet? Transform your eraser into a cheat sheet holder in one move. You can easily take it out and quickly put it in. It'll help if you write it in hand rather than print it out. The written information can be remembered better. A ruler is a useful supply, especially if it's used for cheating. Write necessary formulas on a clear ruler. Attach clear tape to keep the writing in place. It works perfectly well for the short formulas that you mix up all the time. You're just back to school, so you haven't remembered your schedule yet. Rely on your phone. Go into your phone settings. Press Set up a new wallpaper. Choose your schedule picture and zoom in on it. Set it as a wallpaper on your screen. The simple trick will let you always be on time for your classes. And you won't have to lose time on looking for the picture of your schedule in your phone gallery. Do you want to write or draw on color paper with a marker? Use this life hack to make it unusual. Dip a marker into bleach. Write or draw on color paper. When the bleach starts working, your drawing turns visible. You'll get a different result each time as the bleach changes both the color of the marker and of the paper. If you need a long cheat sheet, attach it to your notebook cover. Tape your cheat sheet. Print it out in a little font size. Soak it in water. Rub the paper to remove it from the tape. The information is left on the tape. Attach the transparent cheat tape to your clear notebook cover and use it during your test. But hush, no one should know you have it. You can camouflage your cheat sheet on a colored notebook cover. We'll need a cover, 
paper, and a pencil of one color. Draw a graph of a function on the paper. Add any other necessary information onto the paper. Wrap it around your notebook and put on the cover. You can see all your notes clearly while your teacher can't. Are your covers too big? Trim them to fit your notebooks. Mark the appropriate size. Heat a craft knife. Cut off the cover using a ruler. The knife seals the cover where necessary. No more unfitting covers. Make your notebooks neat and tidy. Has your eraser worn out? Make a new one and prank your friends. Remove your old eraser using a modeling knife or an awl. Do you like edible school supplies? Make your new eraser from sugar paste. Color the white paste with food coloring. Don't forget to put on rubber gloves to avoid dyeing your hands. When it blends, roll it up between your palms. Cut off the excess. Put it into a metal eraser end. Trim the end and shape it with your fingers. Those who love chewing on a pencil will definitely like this crazy eraser. It's a pity it won't last long, but it's quite enough to prank your friend. Do you need a little school bag? A squared notebook pattern will do well. We've got a little white fabric bag. Put a piece of cardboard inside. Make lines with a fabric marker. Use a ruler trying to make equal intervals between the lines. Use a blue or black color. Make a squared pattern. Draw a red margin on one side. It looks totally awesome. It's spacey enough to put in your lunchbox or some extra supplies. Do you like to put pencils in your pockets? Make a mini pencil case from your old jeans. We'll need your old jeans back pockets, a belt loop, and a zipper. Hot glue the zipper to the top of the pockets. You can also sew it down instead. Hot glue the belt loop to shape a ring. We'll attach it to the pocket edge to hang it on your backpack. Hot glue the pocket edges. Squeeze little portions of glue. Hang the smart pencil case onto your backpack and keep your small stuff in it. You can put in a few pencils and other small school supplies or use it as a makeup bag. Do you often use pencils for drawing? Use this clever crafting hack to get twice as many sharpened pencils as usual. Take a pencil without an eraser on the end, or remove the eraser together with the metal part. Sharpen both ends. You won't have to look for another pencil or spend time sharpening if it's dull or broken. Just turn it over and keep drawing. Double-sided pen? It's handy as well, especially if you often use two colors. Take two pens, let's say blue and black. Be careful to take pens that can be screwed into each other. Assemble the double-sided pen. We'll have a blue color on one side and a black one on the other. You won't have to worry that your pen suddenly stops writing. When it happens, just turn it over and continue writing with the other side. Do you hate taking a lunchbox with you? Take your snack in these funny little bags. Walnuts and chocolate are perfect snacks for school. Put them into Ziploc bags. Chocolate can cheer you up and stimulate your mental activity. Walnuts are extremely rich in vitamins, minerals, and other good stuff used in a healthy diet. Take one and enjoy your school day. Draw funny faces on each bag that will make your day. Trust us, these tasty snacks won't keep long in your backpack. Just look at the smiling chocolate or funny walnuts. Get a snack and study hard. We hope this life hack compilation will make your school life easy and interesting. The patterned notebook covers can relieve your stress. The practical schedule calendar helps organize your day 
and even the cheat sheets can help make you self-confident. Write in your comments which hack you liked the most. Subscribe to our channel, hit the like button, How can we use balloons apart from blowing them up? Let's test the most interesting balloon life hacks and learn a few useful everyday tricks and spectacular experiments. Are you bored as if there's nothing to do? Let's make a confetti explosion. Cut out the neck of a plastic bottle. Cut out the wide part of the balloon. Snip off the excess. Put it on the bottleneck. Make the confetti. Cut out color paper strips. Cut them athwart to get tiny squares. Prepare the confetti of different colors. Put them in the balloon. And now, the most interesting thing. Stretch the latex. Boom! Cool! It's a perfect way to have fun with your friends. Where's the eraser? We can't find it again. Use the balloon. It'll remove the pencil traces just like the eraser. Do you need to stop the air access into the glass? We know how to do it without any special cap. Take a blown up balloon. Press it against the glass and let the air out gradually. When there's only a little air left inside, hold the glass and continue pressing down. We've put the balloon on the glass. It won't let the air in and seals the glass better than any cap. It's time to play tricks. We'll try to put the balloon inside a bottle. We'll use elementary physical laws. We poured a little water into the glass bottle and put it in a microwave. It's become hot. Pour the water out. We'll need the empty bottle. Put it in a bowl with cold water. Twist the balloon and put it inside the bottle. Smooth it and fasten on the neck. Because of the temperature difference, the balloon starts being inflated. It gradually fills the biggest part of the bottle. The balloon can keep a long time inside the bottle. Make your friends wonder how you managed to do it. Besides, you can pour some water into the balloon and put in a flower. Do you hate blowing up balloons? Do you always get dizzy when doing it? Here is a way out. We'll use a simple chemical reaction. Add half a glass of vinegar into the bottle with some water. Put a paper cone in the balloon. Add a spoonful of baking soda in it. Put the balloon on the bottle. Now it's the most fascinating moment. Raise the balloon, letting the soda fall inside. It reacts with the vinegar. A lot of carbon dioxide made during the reaction blows up the balloon. Show this trick to your friends and have fun. It's hard to open this screw top. The hands just slip off. Place the blown up balloon on the top. Let the air out. Finally, the balloon conforms to the top. Now you can open it in one move. Have you run out of ribbons? Use the balloons to make a gift package. Take long, thin balloons. We'll use them to pack a small gift. Wrap the box with the bright balloon. Take another one of the contrast color. Tie it crisscross. Tie the third balloon next to the second one. How cute! It's so eye-catching and unusual. Let's make another balloon trick. It's simple, but entertaining. Put the balloon close to the flame of a candle. It heats up fast and pops. Put some water inside. Now you can hold the balloon over the flame much longer. The water absorbs the heat, preventing the balloon from popping. 
Do you think it's impossible to pierce the balloon without popping it? We can show you how to do it. Take the blown up balloon with a little air let out. Pierce it with a wooden skewer where there's a thick area of rubber. Make it slowly and carefully. And the balloon won't pop. You can add another skewer next. It's a perfect way to beat the boredom and make your friends wonder how you've done it. Have some fun! Make the balloon move. Cut out a bottleneck. Trim with scissors. Heat the craft knife over the flame. Make a hole in the top. Hot glue the detail to the used CD. Put the inflated balloon on the top. The air from the balloon passes through the hole in the top, raising the disc over the table. It makes the disc slip over the surface, moving the whole construction around. Do you like popping the balloons? Let's see if we can always pop a balloon with a sharp object. We'll need a thumbtack. Pop the balloon against it. Boom! Now, add some more thumbtacks. The more the better. It's incredible! This time, we failed to pop the balloon. It's a paradox. Try to pierce the balloon with a needle. Boom! Attach a short tape strip to the balloon. Try to pierce it with the needle through the tape. We can't do it at once as the needle slips off. But finally, it passes through the rubber, and the balloon doesn't pop. You can remove the needle without any damage to the balloon. We've shown how to make a cute stress reliever from the slime and balloon in our previous video. Let's try another version that is much easier to make. Let some air out. Tie the balloon to keep in the air left inside. Now you can squeeze and stretch it however you like. It won't pop, but it will relieve your stress. Do you need to pack your scissors to prevent their opening in your backpack? It's easy! Take a long, thin balloon and put it on the blades. Try to open. No result. The balloon keeps them tightly closed. It's a perfect way to pack the scissors or keep them away from kids. Do you always muddle up your keys spending too much time in front of a locked door? We're going to show a simple way to identify the key. Take the balloons of different colors. Cut out the neck. Put it on the key bow. Cut off the excess. How many keys do you have? That's how many balloons you should take. Now, you won't muddle up your keys. Are your pens and pencils scattered all over your backpack? If you've got a balloon at hand, it's quite easy to organize them. Cut the balloon in several strips to get the rubber bands. Put them on the pens. Perfect! Have you lost the top of the paint container? No problem! Cut out the top of the balloon. Put it on the paint container. It'll prevent the paint from drying. Where's the marker top? It'll dry up soon and stop writing. Don't panic! Use a balloon. Put it on the marker. Squeeze it to let the air out. Close another marker in the same way. Let the air blow out. You can keep the marker in such an unusual cap for a long time. The balloon will keep it workable. To avoid slipping over the smooth table, put the top of the balloon on the glass bottom. Now it's safe and secure.
We hope you liked these smart balloon life hacks. Now you know how to inflate the balloon without blowing or pierce it with a sharp object without it popping. Subscribe to Troom Troom and have